Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great and welcome back to this new daily update on Bitcoin. Um, we'll talk a bit about the, the current market situation right now because obviously it's 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 not great. Uh, yesterday we were still holding on to this 0.618 FIP and the 200 EMA uh, that was providing us with some support. Uh, but in the end, we did not even get to, to, to 28,900 where the 382 of this bearish move was. Um, so bearish confirmation, um, took a break retest off of 28,650 and continued our drop throughout the day where especially in the uh, in the afternoon we uh, we got quite a lot of bearish momentum which was also fueled by some bullish momentum by the dollar strength index which was in turn fueled by um some economic results from the uh from the interest rate decision which is obviously a a big thing here you can see the pmi higher than expected still not great but all right, it's higher than expected. So DXY was bullish. So Bitcoin was bearish. Oh, excuse me. I uh, I, I clicked my Bitcoin uh, chart away. Um, but all right, so so that's kind of the situation right now. So before we get into the rest of the video, uh, in which we'll talk about the technicals and the fundamentals and everything you need to know, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments. And there you'll be able to find uh, instructions on how to join. But now onto Bitcoin. So first of all, uh, to start off with the technical situation, I would say that um, normally the market falls flat a little bit before tomorrow, where we have the in, uh, interest rate decision and a press conference after. Um, I still, to be honest, expect bullish momentum before that. So we fall flat and then we get some sort of mom uh, so, some sort of movement and, and momentum. Um, into the direction which the market expects the results to be. I expect the results and, and their remarks about uh, the current monetary policy to be rather bullish. Uh, yesterday, I also in the Signal Group sent a, a report of all the economic events last month and whether they w w were pointing towards more inflation or less inflation. Most are pointing towards less inflation, which would mean that the interest rate does not need to go up much more, which would be bullish for Bitcoin. Um, now, obviously, I'm not the market, so we'll still have to see, but that is why I expect what I expect. I do have some, some facts to back it up. Um, but for now, the situation now is still that we uh, also took a break retest off of 28,100. Uh, 28, so there's, uh, there's bearish confirmation, and I think there's a, there, there's a real chance that we'll, we'll drop down to that 27,200, 27,400 level. Uh, but altogether, I think we'll just consolidate a bit between 28,100 and 27,600. And that tomorrow, so I think we'll fall flat for today. And then tomorrow, I think we can actually get some bullish momentum again. Um, but then again, I mean, uh, saying that we're going to get bullish momentum is quite a risky thing to do because it's, as I said, it's, it's based on my expectation for, uh, for the interest rate decision. And on my judgment of what happened last couple of times that we had that. Last couple of times we actually got bullish momentum before that. And the expectation was also rather bullish. Um, so yeah, it's um, we'll have to see. But as I said, for, for today I do not expect much more movement. Perhaps a little bit more of bearish momentum pushing us down to the next support level. Um, but that's it. And uh, and tomorrow I'll do a full update on the uh, on the interest rate decision and what to exactly expect of that. Uh, but for now, this is my take on Bitcoin. So thank you for watching. Take care today and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.